Okay. You guys enter um, along the east way coming on the western side of town. Uh, and as you approach, Kaylee lights up the lantern of locating or whatever it's called. I forget the exact name. Um, and it does, it, it, it emits a teal light as opposed to its normal natural lighting. Um, and so you begin to search. Uh, and it doesn't take you long. Like one of the first houses you run into um, along the road here, uh, there's, you see an old woman um, like burst out of the door of this house. Um, and she's just yelling and cursing, uh, and she's like, God damn, like, foul winds and always blowing, and she goes over to a window that's open, and she, like, slams it closed, and then she goes back into her house and slams the door shut. And then if you sit for a moment, all of a sudden the window just, poof, like, k- kicks open again, and she comes out, and she's like, all right, friend, and she slams it shut, and then she's, like, nailing nails to, like, keep the window <laughs> closed. Um, and she sees you all standing there, and she's like, what are you staring at? She's like, what, what? Don't, if you want to, you know, just like, I'm not doing this for your entertainment. Move along. Um, I'm going to speak Sylvan. I don't know if they talk, if they speak Sylvan, but I'm going to speak sure. in Sylvan. Um, like, like, hello, this is, this seems like a fun game that you're playing. Can I help? <laughs> and she just stares at Runa. <laughs> yeah. And then she's like, God, what if it's just, blah, blah, and she just <laughs> stomps her way back towards the entrance of her house. Uh, I guess I'll take a look around to see if there's any telltale signs. Sure. Yeah, well. Same. Yep. I will take, uh, anybody who's doing that, I will take investigation checks. Oh, I guess if the old woman is still there, I would, I would try to let her know that we aren't here to bother her. We're just... Oh, sure. Just wow, I can't believe I got a 17, but a minus one. We're just busting some ghosts. That's right. <laughs> Who are you going to call? Will, Lusky I delivers! Take... Kaylee, I'll take a persuasion check from you then. Okay, sure. As everyone else immediately yeah. starts looking through the snow and through the Don't area. Don't mind my companion who's speaking in a strange language none of us <laughs> understand. <laughs> um, the old woman uh, is like, she's, she's flustered, uh, but when Kaylee approaches her, she seems to calm down a little bit. She's like, I'm sorry. She's like, it's just, I don't know what's going on. It's like, there's just stuff, like, the wind is just blowing open the windows all the time, and and, and it's knocked over stuff in my house. She's like, I think I'm missing some forks. I don't know what's happening. She's like, but I'm just at the end of my rope. She's like, oh. anyway, uh, she's like, but everyone else is, like, she kind of looks at everyone else, and she's like, I don't know what you're looking for. She's like, it's just the wind. Um, It might be some sort of trickster of some sort. Nothing to worry about, like, that it shouldn't it's not harmful uh she's but, like well, uh, it does like to play pranks we think so pranks oh okay she's like well catch it and bring it to me and i'll show it a good prank <laughs> she turns around and stomps back into her house and slams the door um you okay. guys that were searching uh so rix and Nahessa and leif um, you guys are having trouble finding anything. Uh, and you're probably looking like around the, the snow and everything near the house and looking for some sort of tracks. Uh, but Bear and Runa, um, you two are able to tell, you see tracks, not on the snow, but actually on the windowsill. These tiny little, like they're seriously like about maybe a half inch long. Tiny little barefoot tracks. Um, and then there's also some scratches around the windowsill and all that. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. And now that you have found those and identified them, and since it hasn't snowed any time recently, we haven't had any uh, any um, br- blizzards, uh, you guys would be able to then follow those tracks and point them out to your companions and all that. I, I kind of call over uh, everybody over these small tracks. Perfect. I'm not entirely sure where they lead, but they would fit the description. We're looking for ants. <laughs> <laughs> ants with what really big feet, apparently. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> ants with boots on. Um, <laughs> so then whoever wants to, uh, I'll take up to two. Well, no, whoever wants to, uh, you can make survival checks to follow these tiny little tracks leading through the snow. I definitely wander off. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Nice. All right, um, they lead back out of town uh, and not along the road. They kind of go up a hill um, to a small uh, copse of trees. Uh, and as you head in there, um, uh, 
Leif, well, no, you all would be able to see it. Uh, you see in and among these trees, there's three tiny little spirits. And I think I have an artwork to share about these guys too, because these guys are awesome. Um, small, tiny little spirits that look like about the size of just like a little toy or like a doll. Um, and they appear to be uh, dressed in um, uh, stuff that's made out of like natural, like straw and and hay and that sort of thing twigs like and all that and they have what look to be little masks on uh, masks that don't have any facial features they're just kind of like white and they maybe have like a stripe of green or red or blue or something um but they're sitting there uh two of them are seated like cross-legged one of them's holding a big fork to it it's big um the other one's holding a knife and is like sawing the knife on an on a pine cone that's between them and then the third one is is standing up and it's like making big motions with its hand and they don't seem to take any note of you guys. Uh, so what are you doing? Um, here we go. This is this is what you see right here. Um, I'll show this to everyone. Just yes, as a reminder, sure. we were tasked with capturing them, right? <laughs> yes. Okay. Well, not necessarily <laughs> capturing, but bringing one to well, uh, right. like the whatever. Yeah. She did stress uh, yeah. that she wanted oh, it to be peaceful. Yeah, if possible. Yeah. yeah. Oh. I love the little snowman. That's yeah. Awesome. Oh yes. Yeah. There's yes. a tiny little snowman with a button <laughs> on its face next to it as well. That's so awesome. <laughs> uh, so uh, Kaylee was is actually going to approach, and as she approaches, um, I think like they've got cutlery. Uh, I assume I've got a mess kit, so I'll pull out some cutlery too. And uh, is if they'll let me, I'll sit next to them by the plate. Okay. Kaylee approaches, um, and immediately all three of them freeze. And the mm -hmm. one that has its arms up, like, looks up at Kaylee, uh, <laughs> and it starts dancing excitedly, and it starts like like mimicking or like pantomiming, like eating, and it's pointing. And so if Kaylee sits down, like, then then the one that's cutting with the knife like cuts part of the pine cone and hands it to Kaylee, and they're all like, hey. <laughs> Hey, hey. And you see, like, they take the pine cone and, and one of them just, like, smashes it into its mask and doesn't actually eat or anything. And it's just like, ah, and they're all just happy. Um, yeah, pine cone will be a little chewy, but uh, she'll accept it. Um, and, uh, but then, uh, then she'll pull out uh, some rations, I guess, and show them those and uh, also cut some of that and show, show the eating of, of the rations as well. Um, they're all uh, totally fixated. And the rations, like, they're excited about the rations, but they're more excited about your the cutlery and the tools that you're using to cut the rations. Um, They seem very enamored with that. And at one point, like, when you're cutting and, like, if you set, like, a knife down to then pick up the ration, one of them grabs the knife immediately, and it's like, yeah, like, it's playing with it. And everything in point and the showing other one. Else. Yeah, they just <laughs> cut the other one's head off. I had this really <laughs> Um, and then the one that doesn't have anything, uh, doesn't have any tools or anything with it will, um, get up and like, and walk over to Kaylee. Um, and since you're sitting down with your mess kit out, it'll meet, like, just jump right into your mess kit and you can hear it tooling around in there. Yeah, sure. And then you okay. can close your mess kit. <laughs> <laughs> close your mess kit. I, I caught it. <laughs> um, and then I'm... after a couple, oh, go ahead. Oh. I was going to say, I'm going to, uh, seeing their, you know, uh, being enamored with all this stuff, I'm going to pull out a fork from my mess kit, and I am going to infuse it so it glows. Oh, okay. Um, so the one is digging around. That. Yeah, the one is digging around in Kaylee's mess kit, and, and then the other two are playing around with the rations and all that, and then you make one of them glow, and they both stop and watch. Uh, basically waiting to see if you like approach and sit down and if you do that mm -hmm. like if you stay separated then they don't approach you but once you were to come forward and like show that you're coming into what they're doing then they would just like those two would swarm onto you and be like wow like this one's glowing like well look at this shit and then the other I one's gonna i want to play with it <laughs> yeah <awesome. laughs> Um, so they kind of like toss it back and forth and play with it. And then one of them like starts digging through your packs uh, and comes out and it's holding two bullets. And it's like, whoa, look at these bullets. And then they're throwing them back and forth and all that. Like medicine balls. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, okay. I, 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 want, I want to do something too. Um, so I'll, I'll, after like watching this interaction for a little while, I'll approach, um, you know, very slowly and cautiously. I don't mm -hmm. like 
immediately leave lots of one of them and wolf form. <laughs> I'm sure everyone's like holding their breath. No, uh, I person, I, I just kind of like, um, I don't get too close to the pine cone because I don't want them to like freak out that I'm going to steal their pine cone or whatever, but I get close sure. enough that I can reach out with my magic and I use druid craft to make the pine cone start to sprout like roots and like tree like i mean it doesn't it doesn't turn into like a whole tree obviously right but it uh in a like five foot cube sized you know it starts to grow mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, you're making a baby groot yeah <laughs> oh, no. um yeah no they're excited uh and they play with that too uh and like mm -hmm. they're you know they're like testing it out and looking at it and everything and one of them like breaks off one of the twigs and is like mm -hmm. waving it around and and it like, I mean, keeps they're just... growing yeah so it's like uh, an, you just... an infinite source of twigs. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, you get the sense that they're all just uh, really playful um, and just yeah. interested in anything that you guys have yep. uh, to show them. Uh, but Damn. after after a little bit, um, the two of them that, that were sitting down and like pretending to eat, um, they get up and you see one of them kind of like waddle away a short distance towards the trees. Uh, and it holds its hands out like this and it stands like that for a moment. And then you hear... The, very soft pattering on the snow and you see a fox an arctic fox um come out of the trees uh and for, the two... I, for a second i thought it was gonna be like a I... hundred more shrink <laughs> <laughs> i did too awesome. I, I thought it was just like an army of them it's like six thousand twinkers <laughs> in a trench coat <laughs> <laughs> um no so it's it's uh, a fox. uh and the two the two twingas that were um using the forks and everything originally when you first came upon them uh they get up and one of them's like holding a couple twigs from the pine cone and the other one if uh if anything you let them take they're gonna take with them um so like a bullet or something you know and they climb on the fox yeah. uh and then the fox just bounds off in the snow but the third one uh is still hanging out uh in kaylee's pack and it kind of climbs out and it doesn't look distraught or concerned at all that its friends have left like it it looks like it's totally fine and totally happy just being around mainly Kaylee, but really everyone um, just kind of picking at the stuff that you have and all that. Like every so often, like if, if Kaylee is wearing like goggles and the, and the, the muffler from the cold weather, you know, all that, it'll like go to the goggles and it'll like breathe on them and then it'll wipe the goggles and all that. And like, you just, play around, you know? so, I can't wait for that. I, I, I think we just like, <laughs> I think we just like get all of this junk in a pack and then mm -hmm. just like ask if he like it, wants to go in the pack and just play with it. Yeah. <laughs> Right? Yes. Oh, yeah, if he wants to hang out on the shoulder or, yeah if you if you offer oh. it like space in the pack it'll go in um and it'll it'll just walk right in and you see that it literally it just like sits down and makes itself comfortable between all the junk and it's just like oh. inspecting everything and... i give it like can I... filled with sand <laughs> <laughs> i have a metal can filled with sand that's I right give it it. It. Uh, yes oh no okay um you give it that and it's holding it like it's you know t it's like a big metal drum to it <laughs> um, and it's rolling it around, like pushing it up the side of the pack and letting it fall back down and listening to the sand and everything. Yeah, no, it's it's content in your pack. Awesome. Perfect. You did it. Job done. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I like the idea that Rick's Leif and the Hessler are just watching off the sidelines. I think I think I think we've identified on. which party members are allergic to whimsy. <laughs> 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 Dancing with the fork, the Hessler just gets out a book and just starts reading. <laughs> can you imagine the Hessa sitting there with the book open pretending to be asleep waiting for one of them to land on it so she can slam it yeah. shut on this <laughs> <laughs> alright 